Oh, so what? So what did you want to know about Eileen? Everything. Oh, okay. Well, um, the, uh, well I guess the, well, the reason I published I, Eileen's, is, I mean, other than just the fact that I thought she was terrific and her work was terrific, is because um, I have a I have a real interest in New York School poetry. I mean, that whole that French surrealist influenced work, which is it's really it's really like <coughs> come, come into its own. It's not it's really the surrealist influence at all. I mean, the surrealism of French influence. Anyway, um, <laughs> you can speak slow. No. She, this is she, um, she, uh, um, her works got a lot of really interesting qualities about it. It's has it has the feeling with it has the feeling of being spontaneous and uncared for, and yet at the same time it's beautifully cared for. And its its language is casual but sharp, which is a phrase I've used, I've used before. It's it's terrific, and I love how long her lines are. The, along her lines, I mean, just on a poet, poetic level, and also I think it's interesting just her place in in that tradition that, that what she's doing right now it can be clearly placed as, as being derived from to James Scholar Al or Dallas Notley and other people, <coughs> but it's it's very much reflecting its time, and it's also very um, I don't know it has, a, it has a real originality, but I don't even sure she knows how to do what she does or why I don't know <coughs> she knows how to make what's so special about her work work, but it does work. So. I think she knows. I think that it's that manner covers it up somehow, you know, because she looks like, when she talks, she doesn't look like she almost has control of her words at all, yeah. which is hysterical, too. Yeah. Well, she's got some sort of, like, natural grace, a natural sense of language. That's all there, I mean, a lot of it is to it, and she just decides to write the way she does, and it just works. <laughs> 